As that spokesman said, the State Council set a goal back in February of cutting steel production capacity by 100 to 150 million tonnes in five years. Well, northern China's Hebei province is the country's largest iron and steel production base and it's really feeling the pinch, as Ning Hong reports. The Ren brothers are among the first in the country to feel the impact of the new steel goal. They all work in the same iron and steel company in Handan of Hebei province. In the past, they have earned enviable salaries, but things start to change back in 2013. The company told us that production is over capacity. They don't need that many workers now. Workers are taking holidays. According to the Labor and Social Security Bureau of Wuhan City, 4,600 workers have been laid off and re-employed in 2015. The company that Ren Brothers worked for is also struggling to survive. In 2015, the price of integrated steel dropped by nearly one-third, the lowest since 1997. Among 16 iron and steel companies in the city, the Wenan company is among the best both in scale and profit. However, two of its three blast furnaces have been shut down for over half a year. We lost 10 million yuan by shutting down one blast furnace, but keeping it running will cost us even more, about 2 to 3 million a day. We can't afford it, but have to cut production. State-owned companies are relatively better off. Handan Iron and Steel Group is one of the largest in the region and has more advanced production techniques and higher-end products. The price of this deal directly decides the benefits of 22,000 people working here. Although there has been no specific mission to cut production of this facility, however, the country, the whole country, is cutting the production. During the lowest period for the iron and steel industry last year, 70% of production capacity stood idle in Wuhan. That was the worst ever time for Wuhan's iron and steel industry. In 2015, China's crude steel production capacity was 1.2 billion tons. The goal is to reduce it by 10 percent in five years. In Hebei province, the goal is even more aggressive. There, the aim is to cut production capacity by 200 million tons by 2020. 60 percent of iron and steel companies will be out of business. Ning Hong, CCTV, Hebei province.